So a common mistake would be to think that you just add the numerators. Um, or you would add the numerators and the denominators all together, even if the denominators are different. Um, but you can see that if you were to add two-thirds plus one-half, and you were to add the numerators and the denominators all together, you know you can see that this wouldn't actually equal three-fifths, because um, there'd be way too much orange for the final fraction that you see here. So let's look at this, and this three-tenths plus four-hundredths. So we can see right away that our denominators are different. We have three-tenths, four-hundredths. So we're going to need to create common denominators, but let's take a look at what these fractions would look like. Here we have one whole split into ten equal parts. Three of those parts are shaded in. Here we have one whole split into one hundred equal parts. Four of those parts are shaded in. But if we were to turn the three-tenths uh, fraction into hundredths to convert that, you'd see that it goes from being three of the ten spots shaded in to thirty of the ten spots shaded in. So once we have equivalent fractions, you can see that we're now working with the same whole, we would be adding thirty out of one hundred equal pieces plus four out of one hundred parts to get our sum. Let's look at another way of how we could do this. So here we have the same problem we've been working on, um, but now we're going to look at the, the numbers. So we would, to figure out how we would create that equivalent fraction, we would need to think how can we get 10 to equal 100? Well, we'd multiply it by 10. And whatever you do to the denominator, you need to do to the numerator also, because you're multiplying the entire fraction. So we would do 3 times 10, which equals 30, and 10 times 10, which equals 100. This is what we just did with the visual model on the last slide. So when we do that, we can now add the two fractions together, because we're, they have the same common denominators, we're adding this from the same whole. And our answer would be 34 hundredths. Let's take a look at that first problem that we came across, 7 tenths plus 9 hundredths. So we need to get 7 tenths to be equivalent, um, the de denominators to be equivalent. So we would do 7 tenths times 10 tenths, which would equal 70 hundredths. And then we could add 70 hundredths plus 9, ten, nine hundredths equals 79 hundredths. In this lesson, you learn how to add fractions with tenths and hundredths as denominators by creating equivalent fractions.